In this episode, we're going to introduce how to import models to D5 and create proper camera views. First, start D5 render. Click on New to create a new DRS scene file. Go to Menu, File, Save to save the file. Or use the shortcut keys Ctrl plus S to do this. Then click on the Import button in the top left corner and import the models divided in episode 4 into D5. The building model and the surrounding context will appear in the imported section. First add the building model in the scene and set its coordinates as 0, 0, 0. Then add the surrounding context. Now you can align them with the Align feature of D5. Select the building model first as a reference and press Ctrl to multi-select the second model. Click on Align and the second model will align with the first one. D5 Render can align multiple models at the same time. This is especially helpful when you have more than three models to align. Before setting the camera views, we'll introduce the two navigation modes of D5, Orbit and Fly. You can find them in the top right corner of the viewport. In the Orbit mode, you can move the camera around by pressing the scroll wheel or the right mouse button when moving the mouse. Press Shift plus the scroll wheel or the right mouse button to pan the camera. You can zoom in or zoom out by the scroll wheel. In the fly mode, you can move the camera around by pressing the right mouse button. Move forward. Backward. Left. Right. With the WASD key, lift or lower the camera with the Q and E key. Speed up or slow down the camera movement with the shift and space key. Or you can input the movement speed as you like. When you want to restore the default value, right click on the corresponding one and it'll be done. This trick can be used on most of the parameters in D5 render, which is quite convenient. You can switch between these two modes with the shortcut keys Alt plus V. Now move on to set the camera view. First, fly to an eye level point between the two buildings to simulate the human eyesight. Then turn on the grid in the display menu, which can help you better compose the picture. As the model colors seem a bit distracting, you can switch to the play mode in the display menu or use the shortcut keys Alt plus 3. Then press F8 and turn on the two-point perspective. The vertical lines run parallel to each other in this perspective, thus the building will look tall and straight. This is recommended in the eye level view and low aerial view but not in high aerial view. The final step is to decrease the field of view a bit in the camera menu. Now you've completed the picture composition. Don't forget to save this camera view by the add scene button in the top left corner. This enables you to quickly return to this view even when the camera has been moved. You can uncheck transition animation to turn off the motion animation. Of course you can make further adjustments to the camera view. Please note that the adjustment won't be saved until you click on Update Scene. The new camera view will displace the old one. So if you want to keep both of them, the best way is to create a new scene. The camera view used here is for reference only. You're welcome to realize your own ideas and compose freely. 